In today's video, we will test some search engine optimization tools for content creation. So the first one, KW Hero or Keyword Hero, this uses AI to generate keyword optimized content for your website. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I use this to create an article based on the kind of content I put on my own blog. So KW Hero, the other one is called textfocus.net. This will do a very detailed SEO analysis of your content and show you how you can improve it to maximize its search engine performance. So I'll actually go through and generate content uh, with Keyword Hero and also analyze content using text focus in this video. So if all this sounds interesting, then keep watching. And before we get started, I'll just mention that both of these tools have deals on AppSumo for lifetime deals. So um, Keyword Hero and Text Focus. I'll put links in the description if you're interested. But anyway, let's get started. All right, let's start by demonstrating Keyword Hero in action. So I'm going to use a real example. I did a blog post about Contabo a few years ago. So I'm going to try and generate an updated blog post based on that keyword Contabo here. And for the United States, that's probably the best one to go for for English speaking audiences, but you can customize that. Um, go ahead and run that. And it's going to come up with all the related keywords that you should be looking at uh, when you're considering creating content related to your main keyword. And this one is medium difficulty with good profitability as well. So it's worth checking that. Just make sure, um, in my case, my blog is, is probably okay in this niche to handle a medium difficulty keyword. So I'm going to go through and select all the things that are going to be relevant to the article I want to produce here. So for me, I want to do a Contabo review based on their VPS and their other hosting options and comparing it to other competitors like Vulture and DigitalOcean is probably good as well here. So I've just gone ahead and chosen what I think are the most relevant ones for our article here. And then we can go ahead and add that to a content plan. Okay, let's add those keywords. And then we head over to content creation. That's just a matter of selecting all the keywords we want to use for our content. So that one will just select all of them. And then we just do our content analysis. And then using this thing called the outline builder, we can create an AI outline here. That's going to generate all the headings we need to generate our blog article uh, using AI here. So this is all SEO optimized based on our keywords here. Then we head to our AI content writer. And here we can change a few settings on the writing options here. It's going to generate about 5,000 words based on how many headings we've got here, but we can choose standard, tone, friendly, casual, persuasive, formal. Let's go with the persuasive one, content level, uh, beginner, intermediate, or professional. Let's try intermediate. The purpose is um, probably if, if you were doing affiliate marketing, probably sell would be the best one. And then voice and perspective, uh, third person, I think it probably is the best for these type of reviews. So let's go with third person there. And and our expert options, I'd recommend leaving these as default. Uh, if there was some reason you needed to be able to pass an AI detection, say you were writing it for um, a, another human who might be using a detector, you might want to set that to yes. But uh, leave that as default generally and go ahead and write our content. So this is going to generate up to 5,000 words here. So this is going to take a while. So I'll come back when this is done. All right, so that did take a couple of minutes, but this is all done. If we click guidelines here, we can see we have just a bit over 5,000 words here. The content looks well optimized to our keywords. So uh, this is a pretty good outcome. At this point, I should mention that don't expect to be able to dump 5,000 words of AI generated text onto a blog and expect that to rank. There's lots of other factors that Google is gonna consider. So probably the most important things are the user experience and the uh, Eat, so experience, authority, and trust of the website and its author. If we actually check the real results here, we've got Trustpilot, a big review site, has the number one spot there. But the tech blog in second place here is probably the more relevant one because that's a, um, a blog article. If we load that up, we can see we've got probably uh, maybe a 2,000-word article here. But in terms of user experience, what you'd expect for a VPS review is probably some benchmarks some performance testing. So we can see, and some pricing information. So uh, we can see they've done some uh, uptime testing, some time to first byte testing here, some Geekbench benchmarking. So all the things you'd expect for a good VPS review are included in here. It's not just a bunch of AI generated text. They've done some actual work in terms of delivering a good user experience. And in terms of the 
experience, authority, and trust. You've got your author here. If you Google the author, you'll see that they've got a decent LinkedIn following with 300 odd followers in the niche that they're talking about. So they have some authority and trust. Also, the uh, news website is a decently large website. It's obviously going to have some backlinks and some authority in the space as well. So make sure you're sticking with your niche and you are uh, linking back to your social media. So besides LinkedIn, you've got uh, Twitter, Facebook, you've got uh, YouTube obviously does really well. If you've got a good YouTube following, you can demonstrate that experience, authority and trust um, through that uh, as well. The next tool I quite enjoyed using was this one called Text Focus. So textfocus.net, there are some SEO tools here. The three key ones here is page SEO analysis. You can paste in your URL and check its uh, SEO analysis. Optimized copywriting is probably the one I want to focus on today. This is allowing us to make an optimized uh, piece of content for a certain keyword. Semantic analysis ties in with optimized copywriting. Find the right words to use in your copywriting. So these link together. I'll show you what I mean. So let's go to optimized copywriting here. Now I want to do a uh, Fontabo review for English United States target audience here. We can put a thousand words in to start with as our target word count. And straight away, it's recommended 1900 words. So let's actually aim for 1900 words here. And we've got all our keywords and the contextual semantic variations of the keywords. So these are the things we really want to include in our content to get the maximum search engine optimization for our article here. Now, unfortunately, this does not have a built-in AI writer included with it. That's not a big deal. I'm pretty sure everyone knows how to use chat GPT to generate content. The quickest way I got results was just by exporting the keywords to Excel. So basically, I've got all the contextual semantic keywords there, just selected them, and I just pasted these into chat GPT. So I just straight up just prompted, uh, write 1900 words about Contabo using these keywords and just pasted in our keywords. And then it's generated the content for me uh, using those words there. So all I did was copy that out here and then I've just pasted it back into our uh, content creation tool. So just pasting our chat GPT stuff back into text focus here, we can see we've jumped up to a semantic score of 59% already, which is pretty good already. It's given us uh, 1400 words practically, which is close to our 1900 words. And all we have to do now is go through and just improve this SEO score and semantic score by um, engaging the suggestions that it has here. I'll show you how to do that. So here it's gonna say, uh, for example, the word hosting here, we can use web hosting, shared hosting, VPS hosting as the context here. And it's saying ideally you should use it between four to 55 times in our article. We've used it 60, so that's a little bit over-optimized. So we wanna maybe remove a few of the examples of hosting from our text here, for example. So I might take that out. Now I'm 59, I can go through and edit and remove some of the word hosting where uh, we might not need it. So I just ran through and corrected that. A lot of times it might use it redundantly. So like chosen hosting plan, you can just say chosen plan, for example. So that was pretty easy. Same thing with the word website. And there might be examples of words that we should have included, but we didn't include, such as uh, server hosting. So maybe when we talk about hosting, we can talk about server hosting. So let's, let's search for hosting here. And let's say instead of web hosting, we can say uh, web server hosting. So there we go. And that should correct it to green there. So it's just a case of just working through your article and improving the semantics according to its suggestions. Next thing we can do is optimize the SEO score. So let's click on SEO here. It's going to have our suggestions. These are fairly easy to implement. For example, our title, Contabo Review, it says 14 characters. It's better to have 30 characters. So let's actually go back to here and we can see the frequency of the title, uh, Contabo, Hosting, VPS, and Web. Those are the common words here and review. So let's add those to our title. So I've changed it to Contabo VPS Web Hosting Review 2024. We can see the SEO score jump right up to 61. It's in the green already now. So what else can we do? Uh, the meta description tag isn't filled in, so we can just fill that in with, with some of the stuff we've got here. Well, it's asking for 110 characters. So let's just add some more info in here. And now we're at 69% giggity. 
Let's just tweak the semantics a little bit more to get it into the green for this exercise here. So let's keep scrolling down. Dedicated hosting. We didn't mention that. So let's just search for hosting again. Maybe we can talk about dedicated hosting, shared, and dedicated. So there we go. You get the idea. We are in the green here. And I think it's worth checking your comp competition as well. So we can check concurrence here. And it's going to load up all the competitors in our niche. So this will give you an idea about how well optimized the other ranking pages are. For example, this one at um, Ian Kumu has around 2,000 words and a semantic score of 72. So just work on your own until you can uh, be competitive with the other players in your search query. Make sure that you're going to be competitive. Uh, you might notice that IdeaSpot itself is down here. I could do some work, make my article longer and make my score better. Hopefully I could rank better from 14th. Um, maybe I could get up a little higher if I, if I put in some more work, for example. So that wraps it up. I think Keyword Hero in terms of its user experience was probably a little better than Text Focus, but um, I think Text Focus probably is a little bit more sophisticated in terms of its um, keyword analysis, particularly how it does um, semantic and contextual keywords, which is uh, really important to get the right uh, relevance for your Google search. So I quite like this one, a little bit more expensive and probably lacking a little bit of polish. But I think the problem with Keyword Hero anyway is that it's a little bit restrictive in terms of how much um, AI credit you get. So you might end up using other uh, keyword tools, um, AI tools to generate the content anyway When once you run out of your, um, I think you could do about 7,500 words a month on your basic plan there. You can get more uh, expensive plans uh, with these deals. I think, I think, yeah, you've got different tiers. So the basic one, you can do about seven and a half thousand words um, with your license tier one, and you can increase that. But um, like we just saw, you can just use any, even the free chat GPT probably will do the job. In comparison, text focus doesn't have the ability to generate the content, but you can do a lot more productivity with what it includes in there in terms of uh, how much uh, keyword analysis you can do per month. So links are in the description if you want to check these out, but thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or comments down below, but again, I'm Alex from IdeaSpot. I'll catch you next time.